はいこんにちはパイコン JPTV の鈴木貴則です今日は4月21日からカンファレンスが開催されているパイコン US カンファレンスに来てますということで今日この後こっちにあのブース企業ブースがいろいろあるんでちょっとそこを見てインタビューとかしていこうと思いますはい、Hello, my name is Lane from Henge, and we are here in p a i k e n u s for the first time. And yeah, a lot of people actually come to our booth, and uh, yeah, we're, we're having fun here. How about you guys?、Um, the jet lag's <laughs> getting to me, but <laughs> do I introduce myself? Hi, my name is Sonam. I'm also part of the engineering talent acquisition team with,、uh, at Henge with the two here. And yeah, we're looking forward to meeting a lot of people here. It's been fun. Hello,、uh, I'm Yuri.、Uh, I'm also from Hengi. We're the same team.、Uh, I think we're coming to Vicon US because we're looking for English speaking software engineer. Because in the, our company, we use English as the main language. So we've been to a lot of other Vicons, but this is the first time Vicon US, which is quite nice.、Um, can we speak in Japanese? Yeah, and it's quite big as well. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, so basically, we're the only Japanese company here in Pike and US. So I think we kind of like stand out, which is a great thing.、Uh, a lot of people love our swags, which are uh, uh, things that we brought from Japan. So yeah. Okay,、uh, hello, Japanese users of Datadog. If you don't know anything about Datadog, Datadog is an analytics platform for. Gathering traces, metrics, and logs from pretty much all of your services and aggregating them all together and, and providing、uh, attractive analytics that you can use to figure out bugs and problems and to get at the source, root cause of problems inside your infrastructure. We have an office in Japan.、Um, we're probably hiring.、Uh, I don't know, like, there's definitely、uh, a lot of very cool things. So go to our Go to our website, datadoghq.com, and check us out. So, yeah. And、uh, thank you from the US. Thank you. Can use, our, yeah, use our software, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, hello. So, we are Launch Darkly, and we provide a feature management platform. So, what that means is we provide the tools to manage your features after they've been deployed. So, what that means is that a deploy isn't always going to mean a release if you have something like LaunchDarkly in place. So, on the left is LaunchDarkly's dashboard itself. So, this is how I'm going to manage all of the features I have deployed on the right. So, I've got this new login user interface. It's been fully developed. My engineers have gone ahead and deployed it out to my application. And now I'm going to use LaunchDarkly to control its release state. So, if you want to learn more, you can go to launchdarkly.com and check out some of our different options. Hello, I represent Auth0. Auth0 is basically summed up as login as a service. You should not build your own login boxes. Instead, you should just simply use our API.、Uh, you call our API, we display the login box. The user enters their credentials, and then we send a message back to your application whether that user is accepted or whether you should deny access to that user. It's secure, we, we keep up with the latest security protocols. And、uh, it's a fantastic system and gives you more time to work on your own application. And、uh, yes, to,、uh, to developers and users in Japan,、uh, konnichiwa! <laughs> Darling, you got to let me know. Should I sleep or should I code? If I sleep, I'll miss the milestone. And if I code, I'll break my head bone. So come on and let me know. Should I sleep or should I come? Thank you very much. So, all right, so this is、uh, our booth where a real Python. And we do Python tutorials and video courses and quizzes, and we have a podcast also that is quite popular in the community. 
And yeah, we pride ourselves on making really good uh, quality content for Python and just very focused on Python. That's what we do. And we're here at PyCon US 2023 and having a great time. <laughs> Konnichiwa Nihon, Nippon. Konnichiwa Nippon. Uh, welcome to PyCon. My name is Chris Bailey. I'm the host of the Real Python podcast and um, here at PyCon at the Real Python booth. Um, get to meet so many great people here and uh, it's been a fantastic weekend so far. <laughs> and uh, thanks for coming by and, and saying hello. I'm Denny Perez, I'm from Dominican Republic, living in Montreal, but I'm running some chapter of PyLadies. PyLadies is a whole a global group of women around uh, developing, in, not believe, developing in Python, and we are around the whole, the, the whole globe. What is the goal in our community? It's just um, get a bunch of women around the technology, but specifically in Python, because you know, Python is a kind of uh, languages that is so easier for beginner. And then what is we are doing around the world is creating chapters. What is a chapter? Chapters, some kind of um, groups, uh, on each city for each, uh, a country <laughs> I pay. because I'm from uh, I'm living in Montreal is I'm speaking French too is because of that I'm kind of yeah but you understand me and uh, by ladies you need to to get a, a by ladies chapter you need to complete a form and just send for the uh, from the global council and they will approve your your chapter you just need to request a chapter and you can still just teach people around the around your community just learning and the the objective on this uh, each chapter is just to get a, a, co a whole community and uh, inclusion for women in technology and thank you i hope so you can request a chapter in your city and thank you so much all right. Hi, I'm Shanna Matthews. I'm a developer advocate at Sentry. Sentry is an open source application um, error and performance monitoring system. We're pretty much the only monitoring system that's developer focused. So it is made for software engineers by software engineers. Hi, I'm Carolyn. I'm the communications and marketing manager for NumFocus, and we are the nonprofit that supports all of these scientific research projects that are open source. And we're just happy to be here at PyCon. What's going on in the news, right? <laughs> I'm going to sit down cheap. I, I'm Bill Pollock. I run No Starch Press. I, I was just saying uh, that I think Japan has some of the best tech books in the world, not only just straightforward, but uh, we publish the manga guides from Omsha. We do 14 of those. I love, I have actually about seven Japanese titles on my floor right now that I'd like to look at translating. The only challenge is getting someone to translate from Japanese to English, uh, but that's something that we continue to explore. But I, I think the, I find Japanese tech titles incredibly innovative. Some of the titles from uh, Gaken, for example, which has some brilliant stuff, Gaken, Omsha, among other companies. I, when I ever go to book fairs, I look for the Japanese booths, and I know that there's brilliance there, and I, I really admire it. Uh, it's from Gaken robotics kits to Gaken uh, manga titles, uh, Omsha titles, and so on. Uh, there's titles from Shueisha, titles from um, O'Reilly, even, uh, well, O'Reilly Japan, uh, ASCII. I don't even know who's still around anymore, but uh, I've 
I look forward to visiting Japan again, and uh, I think it's a, just an amazing culture that I have tremendous respect for. So, thank you, Japan. Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm, I'm Al Swigert. I'm the author of Automate the Boring Stuff with Python and many other books, uh, which you can read for free online under a Creative Commons license. It's been really important for me to make this uh, information freely available and as widely accessible as possible. And for everybody who is learning to program, no matter where you are, um, keep at it. It's a lot of people find programming to be a very scary concept, but once you get started and when you keep sticking with it, um, you, you just become so much more capable of a person uh, and, and you get new skills and the more you learn, the more fun it becomes to learn more. Uh, so that, that would be my message to everyone who reads my books. Thank you.